right, today we've got Michael with us from KL. Uh, thank you so much for your time today, Michael. No worries. Good to see you. We're here to talk a little bit about production, production workflow, um, and perhaps we could start off with if you could tell us a little bit about your background uh, in photography and production and technology and, and so forth. Yeah, for sure. So I've been in the photographic industry since the late 80s uh, in retail and wholesale, um, working for labs, working for photographers, um, pretty much done all bits and pieces uh, around uh, image capture through to print production and, uh, and now obviously selling, which is what I do day to day and support. Um, the last 20 or so years, I've been heavily involved with selling Epson wide format and production printers. And that uh, lends very heavily into how to get files in and out of um, for a workflow solution. And that's what we're here talking about today. So uh, been heavily involved with the printers and the software to get the jobs out. All right, fantastic. Let's um, dive straight in. Um, now, I know that from our side, we've seen many, many industry changes um, from, a, from the high volume photography perspective. And I sort of want to get your uh, opinion or, or your insights as to what kind of changes or, or developments in the industry that you've seen in the recent sort of years. It's a very interesting because the market is obviously evolving very quickly and the technology is getting faster and less expensive and people can now buy a very inexpensive high quality printer that will give them nice volume so speed wise like the one behind me the epson d700 as it is um, so you can literally have a small 8 by 12 size printer that will do very high volume and high speed in your studio and that's taken a lot of the um, the outsourcing component out of a business so you can literally receive a job and print it and you've got the job ready to ship out very very quickly that whole process over the last probably five years since that little printer behind me has come into the market has really revolutionized how things get done. Um, the big issue is when you get busy and you get a lot of work coming through, then how do you get that happening and not get bogged down in just the day-to-day -day mundane of just shuffling jobs around. And that's the missing piece in all this sort of stuff. So we can have the fastest printers and the best media and the best color, but if you can't get the jobs out, you're sort of stuck. Yeah. So leads in with what we're talking about today, which is great. Yeah, absolutely. We, we find that one area uh, in a high volume, obviously being volume, is uh, that streamlined workflow from the beginning right up and, until the production stage and, and getting those jobs out, as you, as you say. What, what are some of the challenges or, or common challenges that you've been uh, identifying or, or seeing? I think the biggest challenge of late has been, apart from COVID, obviously, uh, but people are looking at how they can diversify their business and be more nimble. And when you are more nimble, you want to be able to get the jobs in and get them out quickly. And that facilitates having to have a printer in your premises, basically. So the whole time involved with getting a job in uh, and then sent out to a lab and then back to you and then collated and ships, that whole time thing, people just don't want to wait. So the customers of ours are finding that their customers want things instantly. So take the photograph, they want to get their prints back as soon as they can, they don't want to wait. And that's just the way the industry, the market, the world is going. It's just, we want it straight away. So getting things done quick as possible is beneficial. You were first introduced uh, with, uh, with NetLife and the NetLife platform a few years ago. Um, how do you think this has changed the, the way that high volume photography companies work? It's amazing. So the whole process of taking the photograph all the way through to print production, the piece in the middle there of receiving the file from the client and the job and the payment and the job ticket, all of that has been automated through this process. I've seen the slow way to do these things. And really up until probably four years ago, five years ago, when I met um, your clients and they were using this platform, they were doing it with paper, email, backwards and forwards, slips of notes all over the place, very, very messy and very time consuming and painful. And when you've got the process now where your customer can see the job, choose their package, submit it, pay for it, you as the owner of the, uh, the lab receive the job with all your files ready to go, it can literally come into the process uh, for the workflow side of things 
and literally start printing. So you don't have to touch the printer, the job ticket comes out and you're ready to go. So just the amount of time that gets saved is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. And I, I guess when we talk about the time saved in the production side of things, as a business, we're sort of looking at, uh, at um, an advantage. Oh, for sure. A, a, yep. a big competitive advantage to getting the, the orders out on that day, if not within 24 hours. So are there any features that you haven't seen in the past, but you're, you're seeing now? Yes, I think the, uh, in the past, it was very hard for someone in the high volume um, realm to be able to offer a lot of different products to their customers, because when it got through to production, you would have to collate all these different sizes and packages uh, manually. Where now, because of the dynamic systems that you guys have in place, uh, an end user, so a parent can choose from a multiple of different um, templates and they can put all sorts of different images in of their, um, their, ch their children and their names and the school logos and things are automatically pulled in so that when they generate that job, which is a, a bespoke job just for them, when it gets to the print production side of things, all you do is go through the print process as normal and then the prints come out and you package it up and you send them off. So yeah. it really gives your the end user, the, the photographer, a lot of versatility to be able to offer a lot of different packages when ultimately they're offering just a, a selection that, they got, that their customer is going to choose from and then print when it comes through to, to you as a print processor, comes through, gets printed, packaged and sent, and sent out. Yeah. Yeah, look, we've, we've definitely seen in, in the past three, five years, customization is absolutely key uh, to, to this. People want to choose and, and customize their order. And the problem that we've had in the past is how do you do that in volume? Yep. The only way to do that, of course, is, is automate the whole complete process in, in the production sense of things. And dynamic templates are really the only way to achieve that level of automation that we can have with the customization that the parents can do. Um, and just in relation to um, setups, for example, now you've done quite a few setups uh, for, for NetLife clients. Can you run us through sort of briefly, I guess, um, what that sort of entails, at least on a, on a mini lab? Uh, for instance, a little Epson or, you know, a, even a set of Epsons, um, yep. what that looks like. Yep. So the software package that we provide for that is called uh, MegaRip. Uh, it's a uh, company in uh, Australia that makes the product. And in essence, what we do is from the NetLife uh, job tickets and the way that NetLife provides files to your computer, we have hot folders set up. So when the files come in for all the different sizes, so 8x12, 8x10, uh, five by seven, six by eight, what have you, uh, including coffee mugs and other things. Uh, all those files get put into specific folders and we watch those folders. So when a file ends up in there, MegaRip picks it up, processes the job to the right size. And then behind the scenes, we have um, print queues set up to go to individual printers. So the one behind me at the moment might have eight inch in it. The one next to it might have five inch and the job will get split up and start printing on both of those printers concurrently. If it's gonna to go to a coffee mug printer or a, uh, an outsourced process, uh, it will get put into another hot folder and shuffled off to that supplier if need be. Um, so the benefit there is you can have all your printers running uh, different sizes. And we, for the Epson printers at the moment, we use the Epson printer driver. And there's a few things we need to set up to get that up and running. So that takes about an hour, hour and a half. Um, and everyone's gonna be different as well. So not everyone's gonna have the whole suite of sizes. Some have more, some have a few differences. So we go through and get all that up and running. And uh, as I said, once you hit submit from uh, NetLife, the jobs get shuffled through to the right folders and they can literally start printing straight away. You don't need to be there. You can have it hands off if you wanted to. Uh, so files can come in overnight and they can literally start printing or they can be queued up, it's coming in the morning, check the printer, hit go, make sure you're running and off, off you go. Um, you've been working on uh, some sort of color profiles uh, specifically for, for the Epsons. Yep. So... KL, when we sell printers, we always custom profile the printer, which is a special chart that we run out. And then we read it in and load that software uh, that I mentioned before, MegaRip. We load that profile into that uh, software. So we've got a color managed workflow. Um, I call it fingerprinting. So you're going to get a custom profile for each printer. Um, generally, 
the printers don't drift very much, so they're going to be fairly consistent. But over time, that can happen. So we can always go back and do that. Uh, I like to have a custom profile on a printer because I know then that's been done to the best of our ability. And we're not relying on the manufacturer to provide one, which in the Epson's case was made in Japan or some others made in Europe and what have you. So, and it's also, it's not on your printer. So we do it on your printer, custom managed um, on the device. And uh, if you've got two printers, we can do both. This is our KL website. Um, we sell all sorts of stuff, but uh, the things we're gonna talk about for today is printers. And this is the new, currently the Epson D860. Um, that's the eight inch printer. It's the successor to the one behind me. Uh, this one is currently uh, available, but there's a new one coming in the new year. And we're quite excited about that. It's gonna give us double-sided printing. Mm. So we'll be able to put a little adapter on the bottom of this, um, the new one, and uh, it'll give us double-sided up to eight or up to A4. So that's exciting. Yeah. Um, the, and do we, do we know when that new double-sided will, will, will come into Australia? Uh, we were hoping by December, but with all the other stuff going on in the world, probably I would say February, March, just to yep. be safe. Yep. Uh, and as soon as I get my hands on one, I'll be running it through the NetLife process because I'm pretty sure your customers will be looking at that going, this is something we can add into our... A hundred percent, yep. Yeah, Christmas cards and peripherals and double-sided yep. uh, booklets and that all yep. that kind of stuff, a hundred percent, yep. That stuff. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time, uh, Michael. And um, we will be chatting soon again, I'm pretty sure. Sounds great. Thanks for the opportunity, Glenn. Look forward to catching up soon. No worries.